All right, so this is going to be your reading for the next six months. We're looking for your relationships. We're looking for your relationships. What's been happening for you? But what will be happening for you by the next six months? What's happening for you? Okay, I think I'm going to do a quick look at what happened in the last six months, and then we'll look forward in the next six months. Okay. Um, overall message here from your overall message for fire signs. Next six months are going to focus heavily on your relationship with your parents, um, your relationship with your family culture, um, getting at tune with your family stories and histories, and then there's also something that's happening very, very soon that you've been waiting and asking for, so we'll get some more clarity on that. But I'm going to start off with, let's see, what's been happening in your relationships over the last six months? Okay, so Sagittarius, over the last six months, you guys have started a you started a new project, something around starting a new income stream for yourself, something that that you know can grow big, or you just started what you just started laying the pipeline over this last six months, okay? And so you started the work, you started laying the pipeline in the initial steps. You started putting things into concrete, um, making things more concrete in terms of this new um, money making investment. So basically, that was good. Let's see. So right now, this thing you started. So at this point, yeah, at this point of change, where you are reviewing, like, okay, this project I started six months. What needs to change about it now? Okay, what? what is not in keeping with my idea so you know you started the project you had some certain ideas you had some certain theories and hypotheses around how it will play out um the milestones you achieve at different points in time the timeline you need you need to achieve different milestones so six months down the line yeah this place of okay considering like okay what needs to change what do i need to change what do i need to revise what do i need to rewrite around this plan around how I thought it would go okay so this at this point in time yeah, at this place of looking through like okay what needs to change what needs to be revised what needs to be reviewed what do I need to reassess what do I need to reevaluate around this plan I had thoughts around it going in a certain way I thought that okay at this certain at this point in time I would have achieved this I would have been able to eat this milestone or well, maybe I already achieved it and I thought I'll need a lot, I'll need a longer time. But what I'm saying is also like, um, there's just something where maybe you not, some certain milestones you are set up, the timeline, the time is due now, but you're not yet close to it. Or it looks like it's further away. So there's something about the spirit thing is going to happen very soon. It's just that your timing will be off, but it's fine. The timing is also helping you to really figure out like, okay, what can I fine tune? around this project so it needs to be fine tuned around my plans around how i thought this thing will go um what needs to be switched up what can i improve on what can i work on what can i make better what can i improve on what can i work on what can i make better okay so let's get some clarity over this next six months okay so over this next six months um spirit is also guiding you to realize the fact that for some of you, you started off this project with making money, money, like making money was like making money, increasing your income, increasing your success, your riches, your wealth, building more financial freedom for yourself. That was one of your main goals. But now you're being asked to look at it like, okay, does this make my inner child happy? So bringing in that element of is this something that I would have loved to do as a child? That I really wanted to do as a child. Bringing in that element is also one of the things I've been asked to revise at this time. And one of the things that's going to be very essential for you over this next six months. Because what I'm saying is that over this next six months, the more you can make this project, the more you can align it with what would bring your inner child to joy. The more you can align it with your soul purpose as well, the more you can see it grow. Okay, so it's like the more you are in alignment with, the more you are in alignment with behaving and making choices that you would have made and done as a child, the things you wanted to do as a child, because those things were 
your inner child feelings when you're a child those decisions those careers those things you wanted to do where you told yourself like oh when i become an adult i'm going to do this those were your direct um downloads from your soul what your soul came to do in this lifetime okay it was part of your life purpose it was part of your soul mission so about this next six months is like you're going to be getting clarity on how you can align this financial um project this new project this project you started six months ago that you started because you wanted to increase more financial freedom for yourself you're going to be guided in how can i align this with what brought me joy as a child okay. how can i align it with my soul purpose how can i align it with my inner child dreams my inner child desires my my inner child ambitions okay how can i align it to my soul purpose then how can i move forward with this okay so there's also something around you you guys over this next six months you're also going to be a lot more communicative for some of you you're stepping into the role of being an expert or being seen as a counsel of being seen as a guide of being seen as an advisor and it's like this was something you wanted to do as a child and this is also part of your soul purpose okay being able to be seen being the one people need for advice okay this is the king of swords being the one people need for advice being the one people meet for advice being the one people go to when they need guidance and clarity being the one people ask questions from this were things you wanted. You wanted to be this person as a child and this part of your soul purpose. So over this next six months, you're going to be aligning this creative idea, this creative vision you started. You're going to be aligning it with something that positions you. You're literally being positioned as the expert. Okay, so right now, what you're reviewing and releasing is anything that is not in alignment with your soul purpose, with your inner child dreams and vision because it's like you're also being made to niche down you're also being made to niche down to focus solely on what would then position you as the expert on what areas what thematic areas and interests will be able to make it easy for people to recognize your wisdom so that they can seek your counsel so that they can seek your counsel expert counsel can you see oracle cards you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others okay so part of your soul purpose is being one people can come to for answers for clarity for some of you if you're not necessarily in the spiritual like maybe you're becoming a mystic you're becoming a reader like me you're becoming an energy reader you're becoming an oracle reader um even if you're not in the spiritual line um you're even if you are in physical therapy, you know, more like emotional therapy, um, psychological therapy, psychotherapy, um, even if you are not in any of those, you are still being, you are being, you are becoming the expert in whatever line you work in, in whatever industry, whatever niche, whatever area, whatever sector. You're becoming the expert. You're becoming the one people go to. You're becoming the counsel, the one people reach out to for advice, the one people go to when they need when they need answers, the one people go to when they have questions, when they don't know how to proceed. So whatever tools you use, so you may not necessarily use oracle cards. You might have your own particular blueprint, your own manners, your tools, your techniques of figuring out the answers, okay? So there's going to be a lot of that happening over this next six months. That's what you're stepping into. So you're becoming the king of wands. You're becoming the one who is able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. Congratulations. Because this is in alignment with your soul purpose and source. If you remember what you told yourself as a child, you said you wanted to help people. You said you wanted people to be able to come meet you for clarity, for advice. For some of you, you might have also done this thing when you were younger. 
they might have been the ones your peers were in so for when they had questions when they needed um, some clarity for some guidance you were the one they met so now you're remembering those things and it's like you're being brought back into alignment with your soul purpose okay so let's see messages are your parents and your ancestors sharing with you at this time messages yeah. i feel like reading from this deck okay messages are coming through at this time what messages are coming through at this time All right, so straight that's pure unconditional love, beloved. Um, for some of you, you might be releasing, yeah, you might be releasing and walking away from an idea of who you thought you'd be. Let's get some more clear. Are you walking away from this person or are you walking towards this person? You guys are also going to be seeing more ones a lot. Okay, you're going to be seeing more ones a lot. Um, yeah, so there's justice coming into this relationship. There's justice coming into this relationship. That's also what's happening at this time. For some of you, you're going to be walking away from contentious relationships, from relationships where there were always quarrels and conflict. And you're walking into a relationship that is more filled with love. But there's a lot of sweetheart relationship there's a lot of pure unconditional love this person treats you well they're going to start a family with this person they're going to be with this person for others of you this is you just walking away from relationships that were filled with a lot of conflict a lot of strife a lot of differences a lot of quarrels arguments there might have been physical assault emotional assault verbal assault and justice is coming into this picture justice is coming into this situation and it's like the skills are being balanced for there to be some equality so if you've been in a relationship where your partners were your partner did not really see you they didn't honor you um there was always strife there was always contention there was always dispute and disagreements over the six months you have been given the energy to walk away and to walk into something that is more fulfilling a relationship that is more filled with pure unconditional love where it's just going to be an equal give or take of energy okay it's not something where you feel like you have to pour 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 into and you had nothing coming back to you okay so that's going to be happening for you also over this next six months um but you guys are going to be seeing one 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 a lot then you're also going to be seeing 11 11 as well as 21 12 and 21 21 you are starting up there's the energy of a lot of breaking through initiating but now moving at a very very rapid rate because now you are clear about what you need to do where you're going to what you're doing how is aligned with your soul purpose and now everything as your energies have come into unison also like even the energies you used to invest so much in this emotional relationship that was not fulfilling you that was not filling your cup all of those is coming to you now so that you can focus on your life's path so you can focus on your life's mission and that's what's making you advance very very fast okay what i'm also hearing is like for some of you that you've been trying to conceive this is going to happen very very soon and then for those of you it's like this conflict there's also something about this conflict finally coming to an ending because your partner is going to receive the logic to get clear what they need to do okay this conflict is going to be coming to an end it's literally coming to an end because your partner is going to receive some logic and some clarity around what needs to be done for this emotion so if this is going to be something that works you guys might also be dealing with someone who is you might also be dealing with water sign pisces energy significance for pisces cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio okay this might be someone with this heavy energies with every water energies and you guys have been in a lot of distance separation conflict contentiousness disagreements and that's going to be that's going to be coming to a head over the six months 
Let's get some more cards. Are you moving on with this person or is this someone new? Yeah, you guys may be moving away from this person. There's someone new knocking at your door. And you're moving away from this person. You're moving away from this relationship. Star was filled with a lot of strife, a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreement. And you're moving with towards this new person who is knocking at your door. There's a new beginning opening in your relationship that is going to be more fulfilling and more rewarding and more enriching and more supportive of what you even want to do for yourself. Okay, so you guys are walking away from this water sign and you're moving forward with someone else. You're moving forward with someone else that is more loving, more accepting, who offers you pure unconditional love. So success, prosperity, and vitality is here for you. You're moving through the gate. You guys are going to be seeing one more one, one, lot. 21, 12, as well as 21, 21, 11, 11, 10, 10. You're going to be seeing a lot of ones. A lot of ones. The sun, okay? So there's a lot of success for you. Yeah? There's a lot of success, prosperity, vitality for you, Sagittarius, over this next six months. Things are going to be happening very, very fast for you. Very, very, very fast. It's like right now, you are putting the finishing touches. You are, okay, you are figuring out like, okay, who is moving forward with me? What is moving forward? What do I need to do? And once you do that, you are like picking up and like in six months, you are not going to be where you are. In six months, you are going to be well they are clean. The people are going to be lining up to talk to you. People are going to be lining up to hear from you. People are going to be lining up to receive wisdom, guidance, inspiration, advice, answers from you. So in six months time, you're being positioned as a king of swords. You're being positioned as the expert, as a mentor. All right, final message from Ashley Sagittarius. Okay, so you've got new adventures. You've got unlimited love. New adventures coming. You guys might also be traveling, maybe going backpacking, traveling to new countries, more like being on the move, like freelancers, like nomadic travelers, more like, you know, not hotel stays, more like camping out, backpacking, maybe not camping in the world, but, you know, just traveling frequently. I'm seeing that, like, you just being on the move a lot. I may be doing this with this person that is coming in for you. Okay, so new adventures. Today, I open myself up to new adventures. I go out and do something I've been holding back from. I move through the fear rather than let it control me. I trust my intuition and follow my desires. Unlimited. I create my reality with the thoughts I think and the things I focus on. I am unlimited in my ability to create a beautiful life full of good and love. Recharge. I invite magic into my life always. Every day, I grow my connection to this earth. If I'm ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirit and recharges my energy. You've also got together. I love... <laughs> I love working together with others and how it makes one's impossible dreams possible. I see their strength in unity and how much we can accomplish together. Asking for help is no weak. It is powerful. And lastly, you've got the better it gets. When things happen that cause me to feel good, I know there are much more good feeling things coming my way. The better it gets and I keep rising up. This is just a very, very wonderful message for you, Sagittarius, okay? So this next six months, I see you traveling a lot. You guys are also going to be having new experiences with people you work with, but more especially like new experiences in your love and personal relationships. But there's also a lot of success coming for you in your professional endeavor. 
guys are going to be seen as the expert a lot of people are going to be asking for your attention they're going to be asking for your guidance for your wisdom they're going to be asking for your help they're going to be just asking you to teach them to advise them to counsel them to you know to offer them your wisdom you're going to be doing that a lot and it's part of your life's purpose okay this is going to be happening for you over this next six months and there's also some for some of you like even if you're single now in six months time you don't be surprised to find yourself pregnant and you're not just pregnant you're pregnant with a child and your partner is someone who loves you unconditionally who loves you purely and you guys are going to be so happy with this conception so it's like a lot of things are falling into place for you over this next six months right now it feels like you're being asked to review some things to review and reassess um especially like how you show what your goals are for this thing you're doing like it's like you're also being asked to change your goals from don't just focus solely on how much money can i make from this idea focus on how many people can i help how many people can i assist how many people can i guide with my wisdom and that is what's going to be bringing you the wealth and abundance instead of focusing solely on how much money can i make from this project think of how many people can i help with this project once you have that perspective shift it's going to make things move for you a lot more rapidly okay all right sagittarius that's your reading for the next six months in your relationships i love you baby and if this video resonated with you make sure you like leave a comment you subscribe you follow my page if you've not done any of those and if you like to book a personal reading the link is in my bio i love you sugar